right now, folks, we're headed out on about a four hour journey to uh, do some dog power go-karting. Good boy, Here comes chasing Zaro. Come on, Jaggy. Good boy, come on. That's the Jagster. Their dogs are all loaded up and we're getting ready to head out. So we just arrived at the North Bend Rail Trail in West Virginia. You can see I've got all the dogs with me. Hey, Jag, can you say hi? There's the Jagster. Z-Man's right here. Chaster coming over to say hi. Hi, good boy. Look at these. And we got the princess in the back. She's 14 and a half years old, just to remind everybody. She's an old gal, but she still gets around. She's got the four-wheel drive bike. Wolf driver. Ready for activity. This is the Wolfmobile, folks. I've got about a dozen bikes dog powered go-karts if you will that have evolved over the years again these bikes are built for the dogs so they can run along they don't have to pull they can pull if they'd like that's why there's these springer attachments getting ready to set up for a great camera filming opportunity on the trail here it looks like a great trail and uh love and life so we are setting up here for about a 11 to 12 mile journey Give a little, take a little. We never know when we get to these trails. But uh, setting up all the camera equipment, which is pretty Wolf driver. pretty high tech and uh, pretty cool. Many years of evolution has brought us to this setup, which seems to be the most efficient and effective, allowing us the ability to film our ride from many different angles, including using 360 cameras, um, different brands of cameras and I try to get as many views as I can of what what I'm doing because to me this is all epic uh, you'll never see anything like this anywhere and uh, I live for this stuff I want to see it daily <laughs> and this gives me that opportunity Thank you, Chris. So, you'll notice that these diff, all these, let's see if this is taller than this, it is. All these different attachments and cameras and everything, again, has been a project that I've worked on for years. Driver. Oh, labor of love, but it's to get me as many views as I said possible to remind me of the, all these epic times we're having. And I like to pass that on to everybody because my favorite saying is in this moment, in a moment, this moment will be history, meaning that cherish every moment you got. And that's what I'm trying to do with my life, the dogs, etc. And uh, it's been awesome. Everything about it. So I'm gonna see what I need to do here. Sorry if I take my attention off of everything. I think I've run out of strength. <laughs> I open a little plastic bag here. Of course, we put all litter in the place, won't let that get out there. But I try to make the cameras as stable as possible because this bike will get everything, will get tossed around pretty nicely. Poles are up, buddy. Oh, we got one more we need. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You can see, this is in our first rodeo. Did that bike fit through there pretty easily? Yep, well that's a, good to know. Well, that's right. 
far as on there. Sometimes. Probably not locked. Um, driver. That's why we have different parts for different situations. Trying to make this fit. What's that lift up? Yep. Trying to make everything work together. It's on his left. On my side. Yep, my side now. That's so sad. My side. Dogs are in the van, we got fans in there running, but we do have the windows down because of the air. Uh, it's kind of nice out here today. So, there's a lot of parts to this puzzle and that's why it's important to keep track of everything. Now it's hot in the sun here, that's why the dogs are in the truck. Another reason for them. Thanks, buddy. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Wolf driver. In this part of the show, we call this for the wolf tech audience. People that geek out on this high tech stuff like myself. And uh, it's kind of the magic behind the wolf driver. That's my website. Check that out, Wolf Tech, W-O-O-F, as I always spell Wolf, T-E-K, and it's uh, .com. Okay. Now, a lot of these cameras get plugged into portable USB chargers. That keeps them live the whole time on the trail. A little Wolf Driver secret, I'm letting you in on there. Um, there. These cameras all have special uses that I use them for, so you hear me mentioning it and I talk about it on the Wolf Tech website. See, you know, let's get them a little, I don't really need them. Yeah, I've done this before, so I know the routine. Actually, this will fit here. Beautiful. Do 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 do. How's Jimmy doing? Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's up with me in the front. Oh, Sir. Sure. <laughs> the camera's already ready to be mounted. Mm. I'm ahead of myself, folks. That's all that means. Notice I close and latch each case. Well, at least the ones that have the camera equipment in, because I don't want to... That's true, I didn't even think about that. Gosh, that would be uh, killing me if there was. Chris has mentioned there was at least not a lot of bugs here. Thank the good Lord on that. Have to adjust proper height, but let me get some. I think I can close this one up now. These are sleeping over there. How cute is that? So, close this box up. need out of there. Put some power power out there now folks. I'm on my secret here. I would power everything. Oh I actually need one more cap. You can notice how this all stays out of the dog way. Wolf driver.
Okay, so I don't charge these all the time. Because they hold a lot of juice. But I'll check them before I put them on. Got that fit in there really nicely. I was up there. Get this around. Wolf driver. Whatever you do, you don't want wires loose on a bike. They could ultimately wrap around. Get caught up in something and then be problematic. I just need to find my bag, which I just had. And uh, I don't know where I put that. I have to look at the video to find that out. There it is. Here, the princess is going to sit back there, so we'll drop this down lower for her. It's out of her way. Always thinking about the dogs. Specialized wires. These are all labeled because the cameras take different wires. What's that, Jimmy? Uh, we need the water. Don't forget the jug. <laughs> you don't like that water jug. So I just bam the wire again to keep it out of our way. And that looks like it has enough time. You can hear Jay yelling. Jay don't like when you disturb him. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see what kind of power we got left here. Half, half power looks good. I'll carry an extra one of these too, in case I would need it. Um, when they're fully charged, they'll last for a couple, probably a good eight to 10 hours of charging camera straight up, but these again are about halfway in refuel them. So this one is gonna be, instead of moving it all around, just go like that, should be, should be set. Okay, that's done. And one other for the GoPro 360, which will link up here. 360 cameras are, uh, you gotta be careful how you mount them because they see everything. So we're trying to keep the shot as pretty as possible. That's kind of bad, that's a GoPro cable. We need the batteries right here. I'm trying to be on the trail now. We're not, but we will be soon. see folks then again I probably wouldn't be the wolf driver if there wasn't a lot of equipment on here <laughs> wolf driver where I'm gonna set about 15 minutes probably prep and this ball game will be over nice okay have to find my right cable so micro and GoPro right there cool couldn't do this without organization. It's just too many pieces and parts. I invite you to go back and see our earlier videos where we were this advance. It's kind of interesting to watch. Wolf driver. As we develop these systems. How's our rain looking, guys? Hit you, Jim. Yeah. Ooh, that's what they're cool. <laughs> Hit me too. It's raining. Just like that, Jim. Yeah. yeah.
You made it rain, Jim. Yeah, a little fun while we're out on prepping up. This case is a little temperamental. Gentlemen and ladies, we're almost ready. And one more camera. Yeah. Wolf driver. I feel it, Crispy. these cameras in when they're just not exactly where you had them where you can't see to look down on them it's a little awkward of an angle it doesn't sound like that but it maybe look like that but I'm just trying to make excuses for my inefficiencies <laughs> pretty little we've been doing pretty good till I get to this part huh Wolf driver. Sometimes I do got a sand. I'm gonna try one more time before I try to go on the bike. Only thing to break now. Oh, glad the bike's got suspension. <laughs> well, at least I'm filming it, so it'll be a nice video for everybody. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get this this closed and be done with this. That's another challenging thing. If you dug through partially, dug through a case trying to close her back up without having to repack it. We're trying. We got it. These are pretty nice. Pardon me, Jim. Okay, I think we're we're set. We, this one stays here. This one goes with us. That goes with us. Yep. Uh, how uh, how are we looking? Is it going to keep raining? Okay, we're set. I'm set. Uh, put my vest on. I'm walking in front. Excuse me. Now the dogs are really patient, folks. That's because they've uh, they've done this before. Boys are out. What's up, Chasey boy? Okay. I'm gonna get my specialized vest on here. Now, uh, this is more technology, but not high tech, just dog tech. That's why it's called wolf tech, huh? This is uh, specialized. It's basically a climbing harness or a safety harness, if you will. And I'm gonna use this keep the dogs when I need to tether them to me. We run into a situation out on the trail or wherever we may be. This is how we keep everything safe. Means getting a little harder, huh? Ooh, that could get you wet. So what we're gonna do, put one camera not work tight. We're gonna pull this. Got a bag. I can just put over this. Uh, any trash bag or anything, Jim, in there? Anything I could tie. Yeah. Wolf driver. A little bit of a good rain here. Actually feels good, but the problem is when you get too wet, it stays with you even after the rain stops. Okay, folks, just taking a quick uh, siesta. Actually, we haven't started yet. You can see the steam coming off the engine, maybe. Sitting in the truck, beautiful because we're getting a light rain, which is cooling the grounds down. 
and we're just waiting till it passes over. Looks like it's a 10, 15 minute storm. Instead of me loading up with my rain gear, if you saw me earlier in this video, I have on my wolf driving vest or body harness as I call it. So it's a little bit of work to get a raincoat over this. It's gonna rain for a while, it's no problem. But under these circumstances, quick shower, I'd rather just uh, stay in the truck if I can and avoid it. Dogs are in here with me, of course, and we're just gonna let the rainstorm pass by. We, we deal with rain, ice, snow, mud, anything you mention. Jaggy, Jaggy get a little moody there. He gets moody when uh, Jim comes in to sit next to him. That's just the Jagster, a little grouchy. He'll be happier when we get on the trail. So that's where we're at right now. Okay folks, so right before we were getting on the trail, you can see the road signs in case you want to look up where we are at now, where we were at as you're watching the video. Pine Valley Drive and Pine Hill Drive. We're on the North Bend Rail Trail in West Virginia. It started raining, so that was kind of a welcome treat. Or unwelcome, maybe. Not sure yet. I'll have to figure that out. Come here, come here, uh, Jag. If I can remember Jag's name. Come here, good boy. Wolf driver. Come here. Hi, good boy. You're the best. So, we just let the dogs. Actually, we left Zara's window down. Let him get a little wet. You could use it. It's a good way to cool down. The dogs emit heat through their pads. So, when they step in these puddles, as we're running, that actually helps cool them down as well. So, put Zaro's on first. These are man mat harnesses. I actually, you can buy them through my store, Wolf Tracks, or Big Commerce, on the net. Uh, the reason I like these, because they're, first of all, they've got two D-rings where you can give the dog a little more leeway or have a little more control of them, especially on lead. They uh, do real well with dealing with dog art odor. Using harnesses a lot, they will accumulate some odor, so these are really nice for that. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. You can see how comfortable they are. The boys are out. Getting harnessed up. Come here, good boy. Big thing you gotta be careful of is not cinching the hair in there. When they're wet, uh, where she takes it. Eleven miles sounded good. Give a little, take a little, but yeah, probably eleven. Really? Oh, that's cool. Come here, Chase. Paul. Paul. Good boy. He'll usually get this paw. Good boy. Boy, Chase has got a little cyst on his paw. Yes, sir. And. uh Probably gonna have to get that removed. Usually they're benign. Hi, good boy. There's the princess. She's ready too. So that's where we're at with them. What I do is I put on a little bit more of a hiking shoe to prepare for our trip because you never know where we get to. Sometimes we'll take the dogs down to water. Sometimes we'll get into muddy situations. Sometimes we might have to get off the bike and walk the dogs to a certain area, lift the bike up. We've had all kinds of situations. So by me having the shoes on, a rugged, aggressive shoe, I can uh, pretty much get through any area. Okay. Sorry, just turning my, phone, my uh, camera on here, folks. So I filmed this from multiple angles. And this is one of them. And here come the dogs. Looks day, guys. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. So right now, we're just gonna give Princess a quick drink. That's all she seemed extra thirsty. She takes a lot of medicine. So what I'll just make sure she's properly hydrated. Make sure they all are. So right now we just had to turn this bike has two motors, front wheel drive motor and a back wheel drive motor, yes. Wolf driver. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on, guys, hike. Watch my girl, Jimmy. Come on, girl. She's up really quick. There'll be a lot of pooping going on. Okay. Wolf driver. So, folks, we're uh, doing a little maintenance check here as Chase chews his harness. That's what he does. Uh, typically, you'll have some sled dogs that just totally chew their harness, so they only keep them on, obviously, when they're engaged in the activity. Wolf driver. Now, folks we're just getting ready to start off and I noticed a little chain issue a little slack in it and remember these bikes take a beating from the dogs pulling on them and the different trail conditions everything we ride through on top of riding on the back of the trailer I was saying sometimes the bikes will ride on top of the truck and remember the truck has suspension the trailer has none so the more it bounces around the worse the, the um, damage we can do to the bike so that creates it to get hung up Driver. 50 cent part hold up the whole show. So, as you can see, if we didn't have Chris B, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of this. Oh. No, we like you. Good? Okay, buddy. Well, folks. Ready? Here we go. Come on, guys. Hike. I see it. Thank you, Jimmy. We are on our way, folks. And you'll see this is a pretty... Um, 
this trail goes through some homes. Come on, guys, hike. We're getting an error now on this. Crispy getting an error code now. driver. driver. They're not the waterproof ones. Watch her, Jim. Wolf driver. driver. That's how we put her up in her specialized seat. Wolf driver. Folks, these are on here to protect her. She likes to move back and forth. And that just protects her fur from the buckles digging in at all. Are we ready? Come on guys, hike. Folks, we're about to enter this cool old tunnel. It's an old rail tunnel, so. Easy, buddies. Whoa. Just heard our reflection and noise reflection, that is. A little uh, foggy in here, Jimmy. Huh? Foggy. Are you good? Yeah, this is a Lions, tigers, and bears. Watch dogs, buddy. So we're uh, progressing through. This trail has a few tunnels. There's a couple they say are haunted. We've actually done some uh, paranormal investigation on one of them called the Silver Haunted Tunnel. And uh, there's a tale about a woman who got hit by a train back in the early 1800s, I believe. And they say her, her spirit haunts the tunnel. You can go on the Werewolf's 
channel on YouTube, the Wolf Driver Werewolf channel. We'll find out more about that and uh, our, our, our paranormal investigation. This tunnel looks pretty cool. Dogs are pulling pretty hard, Jim, because I'm, I'm not using any motor and I'm not pedaling. <laughs> I think they like it because it's cool. Really cool. Foggy in here, so I'm sorry if you can't get a good view. I stopped to actually change the battery on the camera. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Okay, guys, hike. So that's a really cool tunnel. All tunnels are cool, but it's nice and cool in temperature in here as well. So. That's why we're on the four wheel bike. We run into, that was a little, actually a big dip in the road. Yep, I did. Thank you for asking because I forget sometimes. So, I just want to give the folks a view, oh guys, of where we just came out of. That's cool. What's so I gotta hard? take this picture. I apologize, folks. Chasey, Chase. Actually, glad I did take this picture. We just came out of the tunnel right there because I can see my lights on. So we'll make sure we cut this off. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to hit it. Come on. Folks, we're trying to finally get this thing right. We've had our uh, share of wolf driving obstacles today, but that's what it's all about. Working through the adversities with the wolf pack and the team. Well, that's what it teaches us. Until we go through some low hanging branches. So if you've been following us, you see we've had a couple problems from rain. And rain is not really a problem. We just try to keep dry as much as possible. The rain actually is nice for the dogs. Yep. Good to see. So 
this trail is kind of nice with the green grass. Wolf Driver. So we, these gates have really been good to work with. Glad they're open. A lot of times they're locked. They're designed to keep cars and ATVs and big motor vehicles out of the trail, which is nice, but we're wide, not quite as wide as a car, but along those lines. Wolf Driver. Easy guys, oh, we call that Murphy's Law as I was saying. Anything that can go wrong does go wrong, which is understandable. And when you're, when you're dealing with animals, dogs, etc., you gotta take that into consideration and be ready for the unexpected. But when we get to a quiet road, there's no traffic, everything's good. As soon as we go to cross it, like it becomes Grand Central Station. It's just uh, wolf driver, wolf driver isms. <laughs> So we're, this is what it's like wolf driving on the highway, or at least as close as we'll ever be. Hey, this thing looks like it could land a jet plane down here. Wolf driver. Very cool. So this used to be the railroad. Somebody has a basketball net. <laughs> Jimmy saying, what do you think they're saying? There's some people sitting on the porches that we passed, seeing a guy in a, with a camera on his hat and four dogs coming through on a tandem bike. Mile marker 67 or some marking 67. This trail is uh, over 70 miles long, I believe, folks. And we're uh, we're using one motor. The other motor, in case you uh, didn't catch it, has been having issues. It works for us in a pinch. This is a two-motor bike. It's a four-wheel drive vehicle. Works for us in a pinch, but uh, doesn't want to stay on it either. Got too wet with the heavy rain. These are um, older style controllers. We haven't updated this bike yet to the newer style, which are waterproof. Why they built ones that aren't waterproof, I don't know. but. <laughs> We, uh, we've been trying to get the newer ones. This is all very specialized equipment and the 
factory, the company we order from has been out of stock on them, but we'll, we'll have them in the near future. We'll, we'll update them. In the meantime, we let it air dry. We had a hair dryer, seriously, or a heat gun, we would, we would dry it more thoroughly and quicker. Sometimes we spray WD-40 to uh, wick away the water we can, but uh, we're riding on one motor, we're doing just fine. And this is uh, awesome. Dogs are enjoying the run. Princess is in her seat. We've got probably a couple miles in as of now. This location again is about four hours from a home base. And uh, we, we travel all over the East Coast, mostly in the mid-Atlantic area, but uh, in case you're just joining us. And we look for unusual trails and places we haven't been because we love adventuring. So right now we just did a quick water on the dogs and Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. So if you've been following along the video, folks, you see we've had some problems, as I said before. They're still happening. Wolf driver. <laughs> but uh, we think we have subsided with the motor and the tire issue. The tire was just a little low on air. Remember, um, for lack of a better description, these bikes take a lot of beating, so. Uh, more dogs up on the hill? Yeah, we're passing. This pass through passes through a lot of neighborhoods. Just. Um, entered the township of Salem Salem West Virginia that is and these this trail kind of unusual the way it's really grass it's maintained beautifully with these huge grass lanes now it does cross a lot of streets which is kind of a pain in the butt because I mean, they're just dogs barking they can pick up on our scent even though they can't see us but they're way up on the other side of the road and 
you do have to be careful of that because when you're running dogs, they can, come, they can show up at any time, neighborhood dogs. And when you're running a team, as we are here, of four dogs, they attract other dogs. They want to be part of the pack. Is that thunder? <laughs> so the perils of Pauline continue today, folks. Just an ominous warning. Wolf Driver. The motor did cut off, but you got the technology to turn it back on. <laughs> it's doing that because, again, there's some kind of communication error. But when we went up a hill like I just did, it works. I have two motors again on this bike, so using the one front motor is not as desirable because it doesn't have the torque the rear motor does. Just the way we set this up to be able to run forward. Wolf driver. 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 Wolf Driver. Crossing a little bridge here. Come on, guys. That's a neat covered bridge or semi-covered bridge or trellis bridge. <laughs> making our way through this trail that goes through a lot of little towns. It's interesting, these are different kinds of trails to run. You're certainly not back in the wilderness, probably not gonna to see too much wildlife. Although we did have a deer coming right at us. <laughs> Following a bike rider coming towards us. Kinda of interesting, we're trying to outrun a storm right now as we speak. Um, storms are dissipating, summer storms here. But um, it's all good. The date, we're at uh, like uh, September 7th today, so uh, getting out of summer, but... Wolf 
driver. Right now, roughly, we've got in about uh, two and a half, maybe three miles. It's been slow going because of our breakdowns, but uh, it's part of wolf driving. Weather in the storm, no pun intended, with the dogs. And the wolf driver crew, of course. In case you haven't watched us before, we have a, uh, another vehicle, support vehicle, that we actually travel wolf in. Driver. And uh, Chris navigates that and he'll meet us along the trail and pick us up if we break down and take us home, get us to the trail. He maintains the equipment as well. So we're running just one motor today on this because the chain popped and we're not gonna spend the time to fix it now. Chris is working on repairing that in the truck and maybe when we get to our next meetup point, we'll try to fix it. But it's running great on one motor. We're trying to get the mileage in for the dogs. Hey folks, so we're trucking along looks like we're going under a bridge up here bud so i'm going to turn my camera on wolf driver Wolf driver. driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
driver. So we're on a wild and wet trail here. I guess they call it wild and wonderful West Virginia for these kinds of reasons. We've had a lot of precarious situations today. All is well and our main goal is to get the dogs as much mileage as they can handle and uh, we're still in search of that in pursuit of that. Passing a lot of dogs. There's a lot of kennels around here. You know, we're pretty far back in the country here in West Virginia, so um, you're going to have that. Wolf Driver. 